How's it going guys? Yomitosh here and ooh wee! I've got some tweaks to show you guys. There's a bunch of them today but I'm sure you would love them. So we'll just get to the first one. It's called App Chrome. Yeah, so this is Home List. I'm 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 reordering some tweaks right now. Yeah, this is Home List, and I only mention it because I have to go and find mail, and it's going to take me a while to find mail because Home List. Oh, you know what? I'll just talk about Home List. Home List basically gives you this. You have a list of all your apps on your phone, and everything is in alphabetical order. You can also put favorites at the top, which is really cool. Now I'm just going to head over to find the mail app so I can show you uh, App Chrome. Alright, so I'm in mail, I opened some Apple News and uh, this is what App Chrome looks like. So you have like your little App Chrome right here, so it's supposed to have in, like a little arrow that just points back to mail. You actually get like a little preview, you can't really interact in it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to but I haven't figured that out yet. Well yeah, you can interact in your main one and yeah. It's Harry Styles too. So yeah, the next week is called To Glow or Toglo. Pretty sure it's Toglo. And uh, instead of having your uh, icons in your control center filled in, that's for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that. You have it glowing. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, pr pretty pretty cool. Next one is called Carbon, and Carbon gives you like a nice dark mode sort of thing i can't really show you with home list on but i can show you that it changes notifications as well and it gives you like dark notifications and for some reason all my notifications have gone after installing a bunch of tweaks this morning and on to the next week portrait 1164 or portrait xi 64 which is going to be the title of this video just to get more people coming in you know more views more views are always good and uh yeah i'll just show you what that does uh I'll just open the camera app, flip it around, turn on Portrait XI, there we go. Yeah, and uh, I can go ahead and, you know, just casually just change the portrait mode effect. And yeah, this is an iPhone 7, not an iPhone 10. So that is pretty cool. Shout out to that guy, this developer who did this tweak. He's got loads of stuff working in the background that actually make this work, so that's awesome. The next week is called Notify Wi-Fi X, and this is for you networking buffs out there. You can basically get your phone to show you notifications of your local IP address, and uh, I'll show you some other features now, actually. So uh, just see if the test notification works, because it rarely works for me. I don't really know why. It will give you like a notification of your local IP. You probably already have it fixed if you're a network buff though to each device. But yeah, you get a notification of your local IP. If you go over to Wi-Fi, you can actually see that it shows you the signal strength, the encryption method for the Wi-Fi you're using. But you can also disable the limit for the low Wi-Fi signal. So usually iOS doesn't allow you to connect if the Wi-Fi signal is too low. So you can disable that entirely with uh, Notify Wi-Fi X, which is pretty cool. The next one is also pretty cool. The next one is called uh, Scribble. And Scribble allows you to change your password with a scribble and Y represents Yomitosh. And did you see that wonderful animation right there? I thought that was really cool. You can actually speed up the animation in settings if you feel like that's too slow. That's also pretty cool. I think I'm saying pretty cool too many times now. I got influenced by PewDiePie. Don't blame me. The next week is called Modern Alerts and I'm just going to settings to show you a preview alert. And this is what it looks like. It basically looks like the Apple TV alerts and you can actually change the blur on this, which is pretty cool. And uh, yes, I cannot buy all the tweaks I review on this video. So this is what I have to stick with. The next one is called Pullover Pro and this one is spectacular. You've got like this little thing hanging on the side of your screen. You can actually make it left-handed, a left-handed mode if you're left-handed. And uh, it just kind of like moves around and I can click on it and it shows me like my music app right there and I can interact with it. So it's sort of like a multitasking but not really multitasking. It's not like full screen multitasking but it's pretty pretty cool. And if you hold on it you can actually switch between different apps. I'll just go into settings too. And this is what I was on before in settings. And I can actually just drag settings into here and put it there. I actually wanted to review my podcast app just to uh, shout out Marquez's uh, podcast, Waveform, pretty cool podcast. 
but yeah uh that was pullover pro the next one is called artsy and i'll just head over to uh my music and my music is no longer in there but yeah music and if i play you know I'll, I'll play a different song this time this is the second time i'm recording it because uh, i forgot to hit the record button this is what rt looks like i've reviewed rt on this uh channel before probably numerous times but it basically gives you like a preview or like a little nice cover art behind your actual cover art and it also works in control center as well i'm not an apple music guy but i just needed to show you that spotify all the way spotify all the way the next one is called home list and I think you guys already have an introduction to uh, home list it's basically you know this yeah so we'll just move over to the next one uh the next one is called apes and i think that's how you pronounce it but i have to disable home list to actually get uh apes to work but trust me it's worth it also i don't really like home list all right so we're back to my regular home screen it looks really nice i really like my uh theme going on here right now we are apes pretty 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 cool tweak you can have a uh, custom volumes for different apps as well as custom brightness for different apps and uh it's epic look at that i open spotify and just watch my volume hold it goes over to that percent that volume percent i set if i go back home it just goes back to zero percent awesome so the developer for this tweak kudos to this guy he said that his use case was google maps so if you wanted uh, voice descriptions in google maps but that's not for me for me if i'm going on the train or the bus i don't want it to be that my volume just happens to be on max volume because i was listening to music on max volume in my room so yeah this way i can avoid embarrassment on public transport so yeah awesome tweak app is beautiful the next one is called charge animations and charge animations is another pretty cool tweak yeah so uh just lock my phone right now plug in my charger and look at that animation so it's the watch os animation reminds me of uh my watch watch os and uh it's pretty cool you can actually get more uh watch os not watch os you can get more charge animations in settings so if you just head over to the settings so there's blob bubbles edge x edge me ui watch os ios me ui sounds interesting because uh, i quite like the aesthetics of me ui don't judge me i'm not i'm not always all stock android the next one is called auto dynamic wallpaper and with this you can basically have your live wallpapers moving even without you like 3d touching on them and it also works on the home screen as well and this is awesome for my other videos where there's lots of people who want like the live wallpapers for anime characters which is pretty epic i'm a bit too lazy to actually show you guys now so i'll just leave like a little video over my screen to show you what it looks like the next one is called haptic keys and I didn't think I'd like this because uh, I never liked vibrating uh, keyboards or vibrating keys on back on Android because frankly most of the vibrating motors were pretty bad but with the haptic engine on the iPhone it's it's a world of difference it feels really good and with like haptics coming into everything so like on iOS 13 with face ID you get like a little haptic when it unlocks Haptic just feels really good and I feel like it's one of the best features of iPhones right after 3D Touch. So Apple, don't take 3D Touch away. Ah, uh, no. But yeah, uh, that's Haptic Keys. It just it really feels nice when you type in with Haptic Keys. Yeah, uh, the next one is called Math Teacher and this is for your calculator app. So two finger swipe will make it light mode two finger swipe down i think you can actually swipe i don't know swipe up and down yeah so yeah and uh you might think hmm this doesn't really look like it's doing anything more it's just different but wait a minute wait a minute you hold on the copy button here and you get introduced to your settings and you can go ahead and like turn on dark mode for your calculator you can change the color of the scientific keypad as well so you can just basically customize your regular calculator app which has pretty much stayed the same since the beginning of ios or maybe ios 3. but yeah uh that's math teacher and the next one is called cuboid and i've yet to customize my home screen with cuboid but i'll show you a preview when i'm editing the video probably 
sneaking one of my edits in there of my home screen where basically allows you to uh, customize your home screen sort of like uh, boxy I don't know if you guys remember boxy boxy 3 but yeah it's it's pretty cool you get some other features with cuboid as well and on to the last week of the day page bar so it's sort of like the uh, animation dots I showed you in the previous video at the end so now we just have a slightly different page bar or page dots sort of and I've got too many tweaks that are probably obstructing it from working so I'm just going to show you a little video on the side like right right here anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I went all out for this one and hopefully I'll have some more tweaks to show you by next week and uh, stay awesome stay tweaking Stay Joe breaking, Young Touch here. Peace. But yeah, touch me. Wait, that sounds wrong.